One, two, three, action. Prior to the contact of outsiders, Inuit were nomadic and content. When explorers first came to the Arctic, they were in search of the Northwest Passage. Inuit were used as guides and helped the explorers map the land, which made it easier for outsiders to explore the Arctic. In the 1700s, British, Scottish, and American whalers started arriving in the Arctic in search of bowhead whales. Whalers had a huge impact in Inuit life. They introduced square dancing, goods, rifles, social relationships, and diseases. Inuit became dependent on new goods and materials, which led to the establishment of the Hudson's Bay trading posts. The missionaries started arriving to the Arctic to spread the word of God. The traditional Inuit beliefs, such as shamanism, were challenged. Missionaries preached that Inuit beliefs were the work of the devil. Throat singing, drum dancing, tattooing, and practicing shamanism were frowned upon. In the mid-1900s, a lot of change was occurring around the same time. These events included the introduction of the justice system, Eskimo identification tags, forced relocation, operating military and dew line sites, residential schools, disease epidemics such as tuberculosis, and being sent out for treatment, the slaughtering of sled dogs, transition into permanent settlements, and oil and gas exploration. Please take a moment to imagine how Inuit at this time may have been feeling. The Inuit political movement began in the 1970s. Young Inuit from all across the Arctic met in a community known as Coppermine to discuss issues they faced. Inuit were concerned about their land and rights and were tired of being oppressed by the government. After this meeting, Inuit were inspired and they started early negotiations for a land claims agreement. In 1993, the Nunavut Land Claims Agreement was signed. This was a huge achievement for Inuit. This took 20 tiring years of negotiation. Our land claims agreement consists of 42 articles and the creation of Nunavut. Inuit still have a long way to go when it comes to regaining control. <laughs>